coming up on this edition of Gridiron Sports Talk. We talk to, we we talk about Dikembe Mutombo and his life and career despite his uh, challenges of cancer, and uh, you know he passed away. So we talk about him coming up next. Welcome to this edition of of Gridiron Sports Talk the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements on and off the court and on and off the gridiron. On this particular episode, we talk about Dikembe Mutombo, the NBA player who passed away at the age of 58 on, uh, on September 30th, 2024, and we'll talk about his life and stats on this uh, show because we, uh, we honor, we will honor Dikembe Mutombo, um, despite his cancer diagnosis. Um, Dikembe Mutombo, this is coming from wikipedia.org. Uh, Dikembe Mutombo, um, uh, I can't pronounce his long name. Uh, he was born on June 25th, 1966, and passed away on September 30th, 2024, was he was a, a Congolese American professional basketball player. He played 18 seasons on the national bat in the National Basketball Association, the NBA. Uh, he was also nicknamed Matumbo was nicknamed Mount Matumbo for his defensive prowess, and he was commonly regarded as one of the greatest shot blockers, and defensive players of all time. Outside of basketball, he was known as a humanitarian for his work. Uh, he, he stood, Matumbo stood seven, seven feet, two inches tall. Uh, Matumbo moved to the United States from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, at age 21, to attend Georgetown University with the hope of eventually earning a medical degree and returning to uh, DRC to practice medicine. Those plans changed when John Thompson, coach of the Georgetown Hoyers, <clears throat> recruited him to play, basket, co to play college basketball. Matumbo played three seasons at Georgetown, establishing a reputation as a tenacious defender. In 1991, the Denver Nuggets chose him <coughs> with the fourth overall pick of the NBA draft. And during his NBA career, he, play he played for six teams in the NBA Finals for the, for the Philadelphia 76ers in 2001 and for New Jersey for the New Jersey Nets in 2003 he received the NBA defensive player of the year award four times and tied Ben Wallace and Rudy Gobert for the most awards he led the NBA and blocked shots three times and the league rebounds twice and named the all-time all-star teams as as for the 2023-2024 season he ranked second among the NBA career ladders and block shots at the conclusion of the two of at the at the conclusion of the 2009 NBA playoffs, Matumbo retired and his number 55 jersey was retired by the Nuggets and the Atlanta Hawks. He was inducted into the Nate Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2015. Now, um, I'll get to his early life here, but um, in terms of his teams and stats. Um, his career history from 91 to 96, he was with the Denver Nuggets. 
uh, from 96 to 2001, he was with the Atlanta Hawks. From 2001 to 2002, the Philadelphia 76ers. From 2002 to 2003, New Jersey Nets. 2003 to 2004, he was with the Knicks. And um, from 2004 to 2009, he was with the Houston Rockets. His career highlights, um, eight-time NBA All-Star from 92 to 95, and 98 to, uh, from 95 to 98, and from 2000 to 2002. He was on the second team All-NBA at 2001. He was, uh, he was two times All-NBA team, 98 to 2002, four-time NBA um, <coughs> Defensive Player of the Year from 95 to 97 and 98 to 2001. Three times uh, uh, Matumbo was on the All-Defensive uh, First Team, 97, 98, and 2001. Three-time All-Defensive Team, 95 to 99 and 2002. By the way, he's done a lot. Um, um, he was with the he was the, the rookie first. The work the NBA rookie team ninety two. Uh, he was two times he was rebounding leader on the NBA two uh, two thousand to two thousand one. Three times NBA blocks leader ninety four to ninety six, and he retired. He was he, number 55. He retired from the Atlanta Hawks, and he retired from the Denver the Denver Nuggets. Three-time All-American, um, AP UPI, 1991. First team All-Final East, 1991. Second team All-Big East, 1990. And um, he was the he was for two times. He was the Big East Defensive Player of the Year, nineteen ninety 1990 to nineteen ninety one. And here, are, here are his stats. Uh, that's very important. If anybody's interested in that, um, he collected all um, his NBA career statistics: eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty nine points. And that's uh, that's nine point eight points per game. Rebounds is twelve thousand three hundred and fifty nine. Um, that's ten point three rebounds per game. Blocks uh, for Matumbo is three thousand two hundred eighty nine. Two point eight um, blocks per game. And his stats, for more information, you can go to NBA.com. Uh, his college career, Matumbo attended Georgetown University and on a U.S. aid scholarship. He originally attended, intended to become a doctor, but the Georgetown Hoyers, um, the, Georgetown, the Georgetown Hoyers recruited him. Uh, according to John Thompson, and he spoke almost no English when he arrived at Georgetown and studied in the ESL program. During his first year of college basketball as a sophomore, Matumbo once blocked 12 shots in a game. Building the shot-blocking power of Matumbo and teammate Alonso Moore, uh, 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 Alonzo Mourning, Georgetown fans created a rejection row section under the basket, adding a big silhouette of an outstretched hand to the banner for each shot. Blocking of the game. Matumbo was named the Big East Defensive Player of the Year twice. 
in 1990, sharing with Alonzo Mourning in 1991. Now, getting down here, um, at Georgetown, Matumbo, intentional background and interest stood out. Like many others, uh, in uh, 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 like many others, Washington area college students, he served as a summer intern, once for Robert Masua and a member of Congress in the United States from Cal um, who, who was a member of Congress from from the United States in California. And he also served uh, at the World Bank in 1991. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in linguistics and just um, uh, and diplomacy. In terms of the Denver Nuggets, uh, from ninety from ninety one to ninety six, uh, uh, Matumbo as part of the NBA draft with the Denver Nuggets, he was selected in the fourth overall pick. The Nuggets ranked last with the NBA in opponent in opponent points per game and defensive rating. But Matumbo's shot-blocking ability made an immediate impression across the league. He developed his, his, his signature move in which he would celebrate every block point uh, with his right index finger and opposing player and moving it side to side. In 1992, as a way to become more marketable and gain production endorsement contracts that year, Matumbo st starred in an Adidas advertisement that used the catchphrase, Mars, I'm sorry, that used the catchphrase, Man Does Not Fly, in the house of Matumbo, a reference of a prolif of, of, uh, prolific shot blocking. As a rookie, Matumbo was selected with the All-Star team, averaged 16.6 .6 points, 12.3 rebounds, and nearly three blocks per game. Matumbo quickly began to establish himself <clears throat> as one of the league's best defensive players, regularly putting up with his rebound and block numbers. In <clears throat> as uh, as in 1993-1994 season saw Denver continuing to improve Matumbo <clears throat> as a franchise cornerstone during the season Matumbo averaged 12 points per game 11 point eight rebounds per game and 4.1 blocks per game. That is that he helped the Denver Nuggets finish with a 42-40 record and qualify for the eighth seed in the playoffs and that they matched up in top seeded 63-19 Seattle Supersonics in the first round. Uh, we only have a couple minutes left, so uh, after falling to a 0-2 uh, deficit in five game series, Denver won three straight games to pull off the major playoff upset and become the first the first AC to defeat number one on seed for the NBA, uh, the NBA playoff series. At the end of Game Five, Matumbo Menor, uh, 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 Matumbo um, grabbed <clears throat> the game-winning rebound and fell to the ground, holding the ball over his head in a moment of joy. Matumbo's defensive. And was um, 
key to the upset in the victory. A total of 31 block points <clears throat> remains a record for a five-game series. The second round of the playoffs, the Nuggets fell to the Utah Jazz 4-3. to three. The next season, Matumbo was selected and um, in the second all in the second All Star and received the NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. Denver failed. Um, Denver failed to um, build on his success in the previous playoffs as Matumbo lacked quality supporting cast around him. And in terms of the Atlanta Hawks, um, from 96 to 2001, after, 90, uh, um, after 1995-96, Matumbo signed a five-year contract, $55 million as a free agent with the Atlanta Hawks. He and the Hawks all-star Steve Smith led, the, led Atlanta back-to-back -back as a 50-plus win seasons from 96 to 97 and the score was 56 to 26 and um, in 97 98 the score was 50 to 32 Matumbo won the defensive player of the year uh, in both years continuing uh, continuing to put up defensive end with the Hawks in 1997, the NBA playoffs, um, in terms of um, the in terms of the Pistons, they won Game One, and this um, uh, Matumbo won with scores and rebounds, 26 points, 15 rebounds, respectively, in an 89-75 win over the Pistons. By the next round. Despite Matumbo averaging a double double and 2.6 blocks per game, the Hawks lost in five games in, the, in in five games as a defending champion to the Chicago Bulls. The following season, before we end this show, the following season on April was on April 9th, 1998. Matumbo scored 20 points, grabbed 20, 24 rebounds in a 105 to 102 loss to the Indiana Pacers. That season ended in a disappointment for Matumbo and the Hawks, as despite the finishing, <coughs> as the and despite finishing with a similar record to the previous season. Matumbo averaged an 8.0 and a 12.8 rebound uh, per game at, while the Hawks lost to their division rival, the Charlotte Hornets, <clears throat> three games to one in the first round. During the lockout, the NBA lockout, the 98-99 season, he he was the NBA's IBM award winner, um, player of the year, and the award was determined by a computerized formula. That that year, the NBA banned the Matumbo finger wag and a period of protest. He complied with the new rule. During the last full season of the Hawks, during the 1999 to 2000 season, Matumbo averaged 11.5 points and and a game of career of 14.1 rebounds per game and a 3.3 blocks per game. On December 14th, 1999, Matumbo scored 27 points, 11 for 11, shooting from the field and grabbed a season of 29 rebounds and recorded a six uh, six blocks to pull 
the win over the uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves. And in the last thing, uh, the Philadelphia 76ers, which was one of the highlights of his career, um, he did 19 rebounds against the against the Milwaukee Bucks uh, during the NBA Finals, and uh, also in Game One against the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, Against Shaquille O'Neal, Matumbo averaged 18 point, uh, sorry, 16.8 points, 16.8 points, and 12.2 rebounds and 2.2 blocks, uh, uh, and he became a free agent and re-signed with the 76ers at 70 <clears throat> with the 76ers after a season um, for a four-year contract of 68 million dollars. And, uh, by the way, uh, we would like to say condolences to the family of Matumbo uh, during this time. Whoever is watching this, uh, who was a Dikembe Matumbo fan, um, uh, he was a great player. And this puts an end to this edition of um, Gridiron Sports Talk. On and off the field, get on the gridiron despite your disabilities. I am Lauren Siler. For more information on this sports show, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. That's www.orcamedia.net. Stay tuned for the next Gridiron Sports Talk. I'm Lauren Siler. See you next time. <laughs>